Hi friends, today we just have a quick video where we look at how to make our HTML output from a quarto file self-contained. So here we have the penguins uh, from our previous video. So we can see just that little demo HTML. Uh, it's got some images, it's got a graph. And when we render this, what we find when it is done by default is that we get our HTML file, but we also get a folder of files of things like images. And what we want to do is we want to have just the single HTML file that is all fully self-contained. So there's no extra folder. And this is going to be important if I want to produce an HTML file that perhaps I want to send to a client. Don't want them having to mess around with folders and references and things like that. So what we can do is we can come here to our box at the top. We can bring our HTML down a line and put in a semicolon and then come down one more line and say self-contained and good old uh, studio auto auto complete. So self dash contained and we want true. So making that addition when I hit render, it is going to run through. And now I'll come back to my folder and we notice that that folder of bits and pieces has now gone away. So when it re-rendered, it has now rendered as a fully self-contained file. We notice here, and you may not have taken note, but we've gone from 7 kilobytes to 2,400 kilobytes because this HTML file now contains the graphs coded inside it. But it's not grossly huge if we if we ran too many graphs then it would start to blow out a little bit but we now have the single file that we can send to people it's going to contain all of the bits and pieces that we want to uh, be able to show them without them messing around with that folder so i hope that was helpful here we have the code again all we need to do bring html down to a new line and just add this line here self-contained true and when we render, instead of the HTML having a folder of graphs, it will just be that single file.